Tavana. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dr. Larry Farewell is a Harvard-trained neuroscientist and the world's leading expert on the science of creating miracles. Author of the best-selling book, The Science of Creating Miracles, Neuroscience, Quantum Physics, and the Living, of, and the Liv Living the Life of Your Dreams. Selected by the Time Magazine to the Time 100 Top Innovators of the Century, the Picassos or Einsteins of the 21st Century. Innovator of the first brain computer interface and brain fingerprinting. Featured in the major news media in the US and worldwide. He has consulted with individuals, organizations, top government leaders, agencies worldwide, including the president of the US, FBI, CIA, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Welcome, 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 Dr. Larry. It's a pleasure and honor to have you here with us. Over to you. Thank you. Well, it's delightful to be here. I am, it's a pleasure and an honor for me to be here speaking with you today. And I'll be talking about the science of creating miracles. Well, first of all, some of you may be uh, more than a little curious as to what science has to do with miracles. Well, it's been thought generally that miracle was something that goes beyond the realm of science. Some of you may also be curious about what neuroscience and quantum physics have to do with living the life of your dreams, because again, those seem to be separate realms. Well, I'm a neuroscientist and I'm going to, to geek out just a little bit about the science, but mostly I'm gonna be talking about how that science can be applied. Neuroscience and quantum physics can be applied in your own lives and what that has to do with miracles. My father, is a physicist and we've done research together, quantum physics research, neuroscience research. And I was having a conversation, speaking of miracles, I was having a conversation with my father. We were sitting at a restaurant and I said, hey dad, anything is possible. And he said, yes, you're right. Any imaginable configuration of quantum particle wave phenomena is possible. Some things are highly, probable, some things are highly improbable, but anything is possible. In the quantum mechanical world, there's everything. The, the probability distributions of the quantum mechanical world include all possibilities, just some are highly improbable. So I said, well, okay, so there is a finite probability that you, the, all the elementary particles that make up your body and my body and enough air to breathe are going to tunnel from here to the other side of the moon. And that's a known phenomenon. Tunneling is a known phenomenon in quantum mechanics. And we're going to carry on this conversation there. And he said, yeah, you're right. And in fact, and he got out a little paper napkin and he wrote down a formula and he did some, some calculations. And he, he calculated the approximate probability that that was going to happen. And the probability was <clears throat> extremely low. Uh, it didn't happen. We continued our conversation there in the restaurant. But the point is, from the point of view of science, miracles are possible. A miracle is not an impossible event. It's a highly improbable event. So let's look at what might be the mechanics of creating a miracle. And now, now I am gonna geek out a little bit on the science but bear with me here. Let's look at the physical universe. I have a, I have a desk here. I'm pounding, you can probably hear me pounding on the desk. To me, it looks very solid and brown. It looks very different from my body. It looks different from the air around it. It looks separate and different. It looks brown too, to me. Now, if you look more carefully, if you look a little closer, you'll see that it's, this desk is made up of molecules. The molecules are moving around very fast. It's mostly empty space, just like the air around it. You look within the molecules, you'll see atoms. You look within the atoms, you'll see elementary particles, neutrons, protons, electrons. You look within those, you'll see quarks. If you get down to the string theory level, you will see vibrating strings. So what this desk is, it's not a separate object, it's a pattern of vibrations in the unified field. Unified field is the field from which everything 
springs, like waves on an ocean. So the whole universe that we see around us, the things that what we build our lives out of, is simply patterns of vibrations in unified field. Now, you've mentioned before the, the call started, you, uh, you mentioned, Ritu, that all uh, the, the great spiritual traditions have a, a view about miracles. They, ha they have uh, something to say about miracles. All of the great spiritual traditions, I see you took yourself off mute. Do you have a comment? No, nothing. I all right, very good. I want to have conversation. <laughs> all right. All of the great spiritual traditions say that that inner field of pure consciousness that we call upon in the meditation just a few minutes ago, that inner field of pure consciousness that is your essential constituent, that is this essence of human life, that is the same as the unified field that the physical universe springs from, like waves on an ocean or particle wave phenomena. Or, or strings of string theory, vibrating strings of string theory. Now, if that's the case, and that hasn't, hadn't been shown by science until recently, but if that's the case, then it stands to reason that if we could function from the level of our true self, if we could function from the level of our consciousness, our unbounded consciousness, the level of the unified field, we could enliven the conscious unified field in a particular vibration. Like you, you pluck a guitar, it vibrates at a resonant frequency. There are other instruments in the environment they, the, with similar resonant frequency, they will pick up that resonance, they'll start to vibrate as well. If we could create a vibration on the level of our consciousness, we'd be creating that vibration on the level of the conscious unified field that would show up in our environment, that would create events in our environment. And if you look at the latest book that came out last week, whatever it is, on how to be successful. You look at the, the, the scriptures from 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 years ago in all of the, all of the, the, the great religions, or, or, or 1,000 years ago for that matter. You, you, they're all saying that you create this inner vision on the level of your consciousness, and you enliven nature in that, and that creates the result in the world. So we decided to see if we could test that in the scientific laboratory. Now, everyone, I think, has had an experience like, oh, I'd really like to hear from Sally, and you pick up the phone, and it's Sally. So you think, oh, well, maybe my consciousness had an effect there. But we don't really know for sure, because you don't know the probability. Maybe that would have happened anyway. So you can't call that a scientific experiment, even though it may happen often enough that we think, oh, something's really there. However, we do know the probability of alpha particle emission by plutonium. Uh, plutonium is one of the major ingredients of the atomic bomb, as you probably know. Uh, it emits alpha particles, that, those can be measured. We know the exact probability distribution of alpha particle emission by plutonium. So my dad and I set up an experiment to test this, to see if we could shift that probability distribution. Because remember, why do we want to shift the probability distribution? Because a miracle, is an improbable event. And if the universe is the way that all the great spiritual teachers have said it is, that that inner field of pure consciousness commands not only our own lives, but the whole universe, then we ought to be able to make a difference. Well, no one had ever shown that in the scientific laboratory before. So we set up an experiment. And to cut to the chase, and I can go through all the, the technicalities of it at, at another time, and I have in some of my writings, the scientific writings and so on, publish the research. But to cut to the chase, what we discovered is that we could shift the probability distribution of quantum mechanical event. Now, what that means is we could create an extremely, 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 like one part in 5,000, uh, extremely improbable event off the charts in most statistics books. So what does that mean? What that means is you probably don't want to go out and shift the probability distribution of alpha particle emission by plutonium. But we all want to create our lives. And we all want to create unusual, unlikely events, improbable events that wouldn't have happened otherwise. Well, what we showed in the scientific laboratory is that you actually can create miracles. You actually can create highly improbable events. So this was 20 years ago that I did this research and wrote a book about it. It was a very technical book. And really meant for my scientific peers. 
And uh, the comments that I often got at the time were, well, yeah, this is all, this is great. I, 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 understand, I understand consciousness plays a major role in the universe and all of that stuff, but what does this have to do with my life? So I spent the next 20 years developing techniques to apply your consciousness to enliven the vibratory influence in the conscious unified field to create that influence in nature, to enliven that influence in your life, and to create miracles in your life. So that's what the science of creating miracles is about. That's what neuroscience, quantum physics, and living has to do with living the life of your dreams. The process of living your life of your dreams has to do everything to do with first engaging that inner silence, that inner unbounded consciousness, and enlivening your inner vision on that level, creating a resonant frequency like plucking your guitar string towards that which you desire in your life. And then that propagates through the conscious unified field and that shows up in your life. And the specific techniques in my book, The Science of Creating Miracles, oh, this is my new book. I had a book 20 years ago that was very technical. This one, Science of Creating Miracles, Neuroscience, Quantum Physics, and Living the Life of Your Dreams is all about the practical techniques that I've developed and applied in the lives of many, many people to apply the science of creating miracles, to create miracles in your life. And it also goes into how your brain learns and how we can take advantage of how your brain functions to create a shift in the, in the style of functioning of your brain, to create to create a miraculous level of functioning in your brain. And let's look for just a minute at how your brain functions and how it learns. Say you're crawling around on the floor, you're two years old, you touch the floor, you touch the wall, you touch the, the chair leg, nothing much to learn there, nothing much happens. You touch the hot stove, you have an aha experience. Now your brain is open up, for, open for reprogramming. There's something here. To, there's we need a shift in how your brain is functioning. Now, you, now you 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 know something you hadn't known before. It's time to time to create a difference in the way your brain is functioning. So when when you have an aha experience like that is when the brain is open for reprogramming. And when you have an aha experience like that, this is something that I've studied in the laboratory. There is a brain response that takes place. You can measure in the brain waves called a memory and encoding related multifaceted electroencephalographic response, or MER, murmur. So when you have a murmur moment, you have an aha experience, that actually is an opportunity to create a shift in the way your brain is working. So when something, uh, there, here's a take home message here. When something comes along that triggers you, that upsets you, that, that maybe something you don't like. It could be something very positive that, that really creates an aha experience. But sometimes these aha experiences are from something negative. Someone says or does something that you find really triggers you. Well, instead of going into reactive mode, what you can do is you can tune in to who you really are. Tune into that inner field of silence within yourself and get a, an experience of your real self, your higher self. We carry around throughout our lives an inner blueprint. And usually when something comes along that uh, seems to be an attack on us in one way or another, it seems to be uh, attacking either your value, your power, or your safety. Now, and that's because throughout life, we've carried around a blueprint that we're only say 75% powerful and 64% safe and, uh, uh, 55%, oh, I see a question, I'll answer the question in just a minute. They were not 100% safe, powerful, and valued. So what happens is we create that resonance and then we create events in our lives that say that we're not fully valuable, we're not fully safe, we're not fully powerful. So when one of these murmur moments comes, comes along, when something comes along that triggers you, then you can take advantage of that to tune into the real you, 100% safe, 100% powerful, 100% valuable you, the cosmic you, the you that's one with the universe, the you that is the creator of the universe. 
your, your inner field of pure consciousness. Tune into that. Get a sense of what it feels like to be the real you. And then you create a shift in your brain and you start to function. You start to have an inner blueprint that you're 100% safe, valuable, and powerful. And you start to radiate that into the conscious unified field and into your environment. And you start to create a life that's like that. So when you, so here's a take home message. When an experience comes along that triggers you, instead of reacting to it, take a moment and tune into the real you. Tune into the level where you're 100% safe, 100% powerful, 100% valuable. Turn into that inner quiet, that inner silence that is your unbounded consciousness. And then live your life from that level. So you can create a transmutation in your life. A shift in how your brain is functioning, a shift in how your consciousness is functioning. So I've spoken for a while. Let's see what questions people have about the science of creating miracles. Oh, a couple of things. My book, The Science of Creating Miracles, Neuroscience, Quantum Physics, and Living the Life of Your Dreams by Dr. Larry Farwell. It's available on, on Amazon. And I also have workshops in the Science of Creating Miracles where you go into the practical experience of, this, of this, these techniques that we've developed. And that is available on drlarryfarwell.com, drlarryfarwell.com, my website. So let's take questions. Uh, I've done some talking. Let's hear what you have to say, what you'd like to, what you'd like to hear. Uh, so there's one question. What percent of brain do normal people use? What portion of the brain do normal people use? Yes. Well, it's been estimated that people use something like uh, 10% of the conscious capacity of the, of the brain. Uh, that is a very rough estimate. Uh, but uh, I would say that's fairly accurate. And also, when you think about it, the human brain has the capacity to tune into unbounded consciousness. The conscious unified field is your essential nature. And that is infinite potential. That is, the, that is what creates the whole universe. And that's really who you are. So fully reflecting that would be many, many times the power that the brain usually has, uh, that uh, most people has. It, unfolding your full potential would create not only your brain functions better in the ways that you can uh, express in your speech and actions, but your brain, your, your consciousness, which functions through the brain, your consciousness can enliven the conscious unified field and create a resonance there so that many things come your way you couldn't have even anticipated because nature is doing it. You harness the power of nature. Okay, we have uh, another question. How right. does one tune into the blueprint while a trigger occurs? You, you already mentioned <laughs> that. <laughs> yes. Usually the reaction yes. happens instantly. That's yes, what. yes, yes. Okay, well, first of all, that's one of the things that, that we, we teach techniques to do that in, in the workshops. But I'll, I'll give you a very brief, a brief introduction here. Okay, right now I'm sitting, you might be able to see behind me, I'm sitting in a boat. Uh, I, I like to be in my boat. And on this side, I have a forest right here on the beach. That side, I have the Pacific Ocean. So right now, I'm, I'm looking at you, Ritu, and my attention is going there. Effortlessly, my attention can go to the forest. My attention can go to the, the ocean. Your consciousness is infinitely fluid. So what happens is initially when you're triggered, you're overshadowed. You, you, you really don't have a choice. But at some moment, you wake up. And at that moment, you say, aha, okay. You become aware of what's going on. Now, once you wake up, you have a choice. You can, your awareness is, your consciousness is infinitely fluid. You can consciously let the attention, you don't have to force it. Just open the awareness. The, your, your consciousness moves effortlessly. So once you wake up, now before you wake up, when you're overshadowed and you're simply in reactive mode, you don't have a choice. But at some moment you wake up. And as you practice, you, you, get, you start to wake up sooner. As soon as you wake up, you have a choice and then make that choice. And it happens effortlessly. It doesn't happen on the level of forcing your mind. That just holds your mind on the surface. 
It happens on the level of quietness. When you're tuning into your intuition, you're getting information that's very close to the conscious unified field that knows everything. That's a very quiet level. So get in the habit of tuning into the quieter levels of your life and you'll wake up sooner and sooner. Beautiful. More questions? Yes. Um, do you have to train your brain to align with the science of creating miracles? I understand keeping your inner silence is a prerequisite. You already mentioned that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what's your take? Do you have to train your mind? Well, yes. Well, it's, it's natural. So in a sense, we, we, all, we all have the ability to experience who we are. It's really difficult to be who you're not. It's easy to be who you are. So tuning into your 100% safe, 100% valuable, 100% powerful self, tuning into your own consciousness, it is, it's, it's not a difficult process. However, yes, because the patterns of functioning that you apply, the patterns of neuro, neuronal firings that you apply, they get stronger. The ones you don't apply fall, tend to fall away. So the more you get, the more you experience what we've just been talking about, the more you experience the quieter levels of yourself, the more you experience who you truly are, the more that gets strengthened in the functioning of your brain. So yes, you, you train your brain and yet you're training your brain in something natural. So it's not a process of effort or force. It's a process of effortlessness, of tuning into who you truly are. It's easy. More questions? Yes, there's another question. Uh, when something triggers to come to that 100% that safe, powerful, and valuable state is a challenge. It's the same question put up, uh, Dr. Larry, but everybody's curious how, how, how. <laughs> how? Yes. Well, all right. We're talking about experience here. Life is an experience. Life isn't a series of events. Life is a series of experiences. And there are there are techniques that we can practice i mean we had another 20 minutes we could simply go through it uh, one of the techniques and you'll see a number of them in the book we teach them all in, in my workshops there are techniques you can practice that essentially train the brain train your awareness to do this for now we have a few minutes i'll i'll simply i'll make a very brief explanation here when you're triggered when it is a challenge to tune into yourself. However, at some moment when you're triggered, you wake up and you realize what's going on. At that moment, you have a choice. And so how? You simply make the choice. You simply are consider, all right. Dr. Lavi, we'd real... like to extend. We'd like to what? extend. We'd like, we'd like to extend in case you want to practice a technique. Please let us extend it for 10 minutes if that's okay. 10 to 15 minutes, if that suits you. Well, it's, it's fine, fine with me. All right, great. Well, well all right, all right. I will, I will actually, we can probably in about, in about 15 minutes, we can, we can practice the technique together. Right. And uh, I will, uh, let me see, I will, I will, yeah, this is a technique out of my book. Okay. It'll take me a minute to get this. Uh, I'm simply going to read the instructions. Sure. sure. Now, the one I've been talking about now is called transmutation trigger. You can do that spontaneously anytime. Uh, you do that in the, just in the regular course of living. As soon as you wake up, make the choice to tune into the real you. And just let your awareness go there spontaneously. However, uh, it's going to take a minute here to get this file open so I can read it. However, I'll, I'll, uh, we'll do a technique together that will help to train you to have that experience. Take me just a minute here to get this up. I'm so happy that you're interested <laughs> enough to actually want to do something. Let's do it. Okay, now this, this involves 
using the subtle energies that are in the command of your consciousness. Okay. Now, there are actually some physical emotions that go along with, with this. And uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to demonstrate them as I'm speaking. So it will actually, if you have room where you are, I actually don't have room to stand up here, but you can do this sitting. It's a little bit better if you step back a little bit from your computers and stand up. And what we'll be, I'll tell you, describe in advance what we're going to be doing. We're going to be tuning into the subtle energies of our body and the subtle energies of the universe. We're going to take advantage of those. And then we are going to function on the level of our consciousness to create an experience which will enliven the conscious unified field in your life. So to begin with, uh, you'll be explore. Think of something in your life that is a challenge to you or something that you'd like to explore, something that may be a problem or it may be a question that you have, something you'd like to investigate or some area of your life that you would like to improve. Because we're gonna do a specific investigation on the level of consciousness and we're going to enliven your, the conscious unified field in that realm that has to do with that particular thing that we're exploring, that particular area of your life or question that we're exploring. So the first thing, first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the energetic level. You stand comfortably with your hands to your sides, palms facing inward. And actually, I'm going to tell you to close your eyes, but before you do that, I'm going to show you what these motions look like. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes in a minute, but the first thing you're going to do is you're going to move your hands out like this. And then you're going to turn with your palms down. Then you're going to, and you're going to be picking up energy from below. Then you're going to turn your palms over. Then you're going to move your hands up and close together. And you feel a ball of energy between your hands. We're not doing it yet. I'm simply giving you the physical motions because you're going to be doing it with your eyes closed. Then you'll bring your hands down in front of your heart to draw the energy into your heart. Then while you're asking this question, You'll move your hands up and slightly forward until they're outstretched above you. Then when you're getting information, you'll be moving your hands down on top of your head as you draw that information in. And then you'll stand, you'll move your hands to whatever is a comfortable position. So that's the, what the physical motions look like. And now I'm going to ask you to do this and you'll have your eyes closed. And most of this takes place on the level of your consciousness. So here we go. Stand comfortably with your hands to your sides, palms facing inward and close your eyes. Now raise your arms to shoulder height, palms facing down. You may experience strong energy from below into your open palms. Turn your hands over, palm up, and move your arms up and slightly forward until your palms are close together. You may experience drawing energy from above and feel a ball of energy between your hands. Bring your palms down and together in front of your heart. Draw the energy into your heart. Remind yourself of who you truly are at the highest and truest level in whatever language appeals to you, such as higher self, conscious unified field, divine essence, the real you, or this may be beyond language. <clears throat> Ask for guidance from any higher being you know, naming him or her if and as you like. This can be your own higher self or another being. You may say, I'm about to begin energized transmutation. Please help me. Now bring to mind the question or situation 
that you're exploring. Ask the question or think of the situation explored as you move your hands up and slightly forward until your arms are outstretched, palms together. You may experience the question traveling upward beyond your hands. You may notice and enjoy where it projects. Now bring your hands down, still palms together to the top of your head. Effortlessly imbibe the answers and insights that come in response to your question or investigation. At this point, the information you receive is probably not verbal. You're receiving it on a more refined level. Don't worry about getting the answer or making it clearer. Just enjoy any feeling of inflow that there may be. Here, as throughout the process, don't try, just take it as it comes. Now let your hands come to a comfortable position, whatever that may be right now. Spontaneously be aware of your physical body and your subtle bodies. If there is some suffering in your life, where is the pain? Let your attention spontaneously go there. Don't concentrate, don't try. Just let your attention go where it is effortlessly drawn. You may begin to envision bodily motions and positions or body language that express what you're feeling. Move however you are moved to move. Express whatever you move to express. Don't worry what you look or sound like. Remember, you're completely safe here. You may experience some dramatic bodily and vocal expressions or the whole experience may be calm and quiet. Express whatever comes naturally. Get into it. Now is not the time to resist experiencing. Now is the time to really let your awareness fathom the whole experience. Let your emotions feel it. Let your body express it. Don't try to resist it. Don't try to fix it. Just experience it. Your consciousness will be spontaneously healing whatever is out of tune with your true nature. Your body postures and motions will change as the foreign matter is dissolved. This foreign matter has been able to remain because it was in your blind spot, lacking your attention. Now you're letting your attention go there and in the foreign, any imbalance will be healed. After some time, the knots will unwind. The sensations and any negative emotions will subside. Whatever was causing you pain is something foreign something that does not resonate with your true nature, like a thorn in your side. Your consciousness is infinitely powerful. Letting your awareness go to it will dissolve whatever it is, and the reality of your true nature will begin to shine through. You will begin to be more and more in touch with your true nature. You will remember and experience the reality that you are a blessed divine being infinitely valuable, powerful, and safe. As you come in touch with your true nature, you will feel inner calm, and at the same time, a thrill of excitement to be alive. Throughout this process, insights about your life may come to you spontaneously, both while you're experiencing whatever may be out of balance, if anything, and when you're coming in touch with your true nature. The mechanics of how the situation caused you pain may become apparent to you. You may become aware of what it was in you that drew a negative experience, event, or person into your life. You may become aware of your desires and aspirations, what is important to you, what resonates with the wonderful and delightful things, events, and people you're now drawing into your life, now that you're in touch with your true nature. You may see a different and much more fulfilling and life-supporting course of action than what occurred to you when and if you were suffering before beginning the technique. Now I will pause for two minutes and let you continue the technique on your own.
I'll let you know when it's time to finish. All right, now stand comfortably with your hand to your sides, palms facing in. Raise your arms to shoulder height, palms facing down. You may experience drawing energy from below into your open palms. Turn your hands over, palm up, and move your arms up and slightly forward until your palms are close together. You may experience strong energy from above and feel a ball of energy between your hands. Bring your palms down and together in front of your heart. Draw the energy into your heart. Remind yourself of who you truly are at the highest and truest level, whatever language appeals to you, such as higher self, conscious unified field, divine essence, the real you, or it may be beyond language. Thank any being who may have helped you, name him or her as and if you choose. Open your eyes and enjoy your life. All right. That technique is also outlined in my book, Science of Creating Miracles. And you can take a look at my website, drlarryfarwell.com as well, drlarryfarwell.com. So thank you. Any, any uh, questions on that? Thank you so much, Dr. Larry. It's a beautiful uh, experience. You're Sorry? welcome. Uh, little, if anyone wants to share, they can. Share, yeah, I just request that. If anyone wants to share, kindly unmute yourself and you may share your experience. You can also share it in the chat box for uh, in the interest of time. Uh, people are I saying thank you in the chat. You're welcome. Go ahead. Really wonderful. I express my gratitude to you. Really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Life is an experience, and what we're here for each other is help each other to have a more and more fulfilling, more and more true, more and more real, higher experience of, of life. So it's a joy for me to share this with you.
I'd just like to read a few comments. It was such, it was a beautiful experience. So much energy. Saw the body dissolving. That's a comment from Supriya. Everybody's thanking you, Dr. Larry. Thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much for presenting this to us and making us go through this exercise. Amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. It's been a delight to be with you here. Thank you so much for, for sharing with me. Could we have your email ID just in case anybody would like to connect with you? Yes. Well, uh, if you get to my website, Dr. Larry Farwell, drlarryfarwell.com, yes. you'll be able to connect with me there. All right. Uh, that's, we'll that. that's probably the easiest. You'll get my email from there. Got that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks a ton. I'll share the link of the program as well. Yes, we have actually, uh, we'll be sharing all the links of the Amazon books that you have on Amazon. Yes. Yes. We'll be sharing yes. it in a short while. All right. Very, yes. There's one other. Yeah. Science of Creating Miracles is the name of the book. You can get it on Amazon. Right. Thank you. Thanks a ton. Thank you so much. Namaste. You're welcome. It's been delightful. Thank you. So up next, my dear friends, any learnings, anything that you want to share in the, you can please share it in the chat box. While I invite our next speaker for the evening, we have with us beautiful Pooja Karan with us. She's had a 15 years of working experience in the corporate sector as a business analyst. And she's practiced different forms of yoga, meditation, and has been a social worker reader since childhood. She's practicing Sahaj Yoga meditation since the last 10 years as a corporate trainer, counselor, and coach. Hi, Dr. Pooja. Hi, Pooja. Yeah, hi. Hi, Pooja. Very good evening, all. Very good evening. Very warm welcome to you. I'd yeah. like you to introduce, in case I've missed anything, introduce yourself. And it's over to you now. That's enough. <laughs> thanks for the wonderful introduction. And uh, uh, thanks for inviting Dr. Larry. And it's a, it's a wonderful meditative experience, Dr. Larry. Thank you so much. So uh, my topic of today is uh, belief system. So I would like to ask, uh, what do you understand by belief? Anybody would like to reply? Okay. In the Can interest you write it down in the chat box as well. I took okay. the participants to write it down. I think everybody's into that zone of meditation yet. So it's all right. You can write it down in the chat box. Patterns. Okay. Patterns. Yes. Anybody else? No worries. So belief is okay thinking yeah something you identify with yeah a bit closer Omari. yeah thank you so uh, basically belief is something we are uh, truly uh, we truly feel like that it's reality we have this strong faith in that right like uh, if I say that after Sunday, Monday is coming. So we all have strong faith, strong belief because for us is always after Sunday, Monday is coming and the sun rises in the east. So we have that belief system. So similarly, we have belief system for ourselves also. And uh, we have belief system about people, about this world. And similarly, we have system um, this belief about cultural beliefs, you can say, social beliefs, you can say, like in India, uh, when we are in traffic, so when the light is green, right, then traffic moves. So we have this belief system about uh, social things also. And uh, how we pick this belief system? Because uh, when uh, we are a kid, when we born, so uh, our first parents are our teachers. So we learn so much by observation and with our experiences of life, we learn from teachers, we learn from society, our relatives, 
and so many people. So uh, today we are going to understand that how the mechanics of belief works and how, I mean, there are all kinds of beliefs. We have some negative belief, which is impacting our life and stopping us to reach our goals and move ahead in life. And we have some belief, which is really, really making us uh, alive and our life joyful and we are progressing there. But somewhere if we are feeling stuck, so there is some belief, something which is holding us. So today uh, we are going to dismantle some of them beliefs. So uh, do I have shared rights? Okay. Yes, Pooja, you can share. Yeah. So for example, I'm taking one of the belief. You are your screen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So this is one of the belief. Normally people uh, pick these kind of belief. They try to do everything right. For example, if somebody has belief, I have to be right and I always do right things. So these kind of people are at time perfectionist also. So how one belief is impacting so many dimensions and creating different kind of emotion we will see here. So if a person always wanted to be right, so one belief is there, I'm right, right? But beneath is why this person is always wanted to be right in every situation. Maybe in childhood, he is always listening from parents, you are stupid, you are idiot, you are bevkuf, uh, you are gadha, tumko kuch samajh mein aata hai, something like that, right? So at times, maybe this person is the CEO of company, he is an established doctor, he is an established lawyer, or he is a good husband or a wife. But beneath, at times, our those kind of subconscious belief which we are hiding, and these kind of people at times gain so much of knowledge, so much of learning, because they hate that somebody found that they are stupid, right? And they hate that people might see that I am stupid, right? And also at times when uh, something happen in life, they face any kind of failure or the things or the business don't go according to their desire or some breakup happen or some kind of failure happen. So that belief also coming that I'm a failure or I'm stupid, I'm worthless. And because I'm worthless, that's why it's happening. So now we are going to see the impact on emotions also. So uh, these kind of belief having huge impact. So now if we see this slide, one belief that I, I am right or I have to be right is all also generating different kind of emotion. So if I'm accomplishing something, it generate pride right? And it, it is also generating fear that if I'm uh, stupid and I'm not able to do a particular thing in a particular way, which I thought of, it means because I'm stupid, I'm idiot, but I'm not showing to others. But somewhere I have this fear that uh, whether I'm able to perform or not. Yeah. So these people are never free, right? And also if... Uh, uh, somebody is able to figure out that I'm stupid or uh, people are able to see me as stupid. So this is also generating somewhere anger also in different kind of situation and scenario. And the person is hating that, that he is stupid or she is stupid. And this is generating self-hate also. And different kind of scenario when things go haywire or things at times, situations are out of control and people are not really, really working according to, uh, or the situations are not according to his or her desire, to so that person also feeling worthless. And some failure happened, any exam, any interview or any kind of thing. So in different kind of scenario, when the things are not working, that person is picking the belief that I'm a failure and I'm a worthless person. So you can see that a simple thought and the core belief is one thought is there, I have to be right. And there are so many different kinds of thoughts and beliefs, small, small beliefs are operating behind that. And different kinds of emotions and feelings are getting generated out of it. Also, 
we can see that this is only a small part which we can see from surface level but if we go beneath we can see that's a huge huge uh, programming of your unconscious mind or subconscious mind which is at play and superficially you always want it to be right so this kind of uh, uh, a simple thought a simple belief is coming from where and it's so deep rooted we can see in this picture apart from that we are going to see now how our different kind of belief impact us and where they are coming from so in different kind of scenario let's say if somebody is having a belief about this world right the world is like scary if somebody has a belief that world is dangerous place or world is scary the core belief is that so this person having some assumption or he is also operating from some rule in his or her head right if the world is scary for a person how this person will be operating that person is always trying to make himself or herself safe and that person is avoiding taking any kind of risk maybe those kind of risk can give so much to him or her they can really really grow in terms of career in terms of their personal life in terms of their relationship but because they have some fear maybe they have some social anxiety they don't want to meet people they uh, stayed alone for a long time due to studies or due to any reason and now they have some social anxiety so that kind and that kind of person if he has to go in a party or a public event the belief will come i don't know that people will talk to me or not how they will respond what kind of atmosphere will be there whether i am going to uh, feel comfortable or not whether i am going to face anxiety so at times these kind of people avoid going outside avoid going to large groups or those kind of events and they isolate themselves in their uh, stuff whatever they feel comfortable with and those kind of situation getting created when we have some kind of depression some kind of anxiety or few kids also grown like that that they are not comfortable in social settings they are not comfortable with unknown people or relatives because they have some kind of fear that's why they don't want to face that kind of situation right also if something happen in past let's say somebody was trusting uh, his friends or her friends or somebody was trusting uh, one of the neighbor or someone but the trust got shattered due to any reason and it happen once twice thrice the person is wearing that kind of uh, you can say colored specs now this person is seeing everything in that light now the world became really really a uh, scary uh, place where he or she can't trust on others right so now uh, this person needs to be careful maybe uh, their kids are going outside but what kind of uh, thinking is coming to their mind if they are getting late if your core belief is like the world is scary and something bad might happen you will always be worried and your your heart will be racing your mind will be uh, thinking about some bad stuff or uh, you can see the whole your nervous system will go uh, in a different kind of mode and you will feel very much threatened that i don't know what's going to happen and if another parent similar case if that parent is holding a belief that okay they might be busy and kids might gone for outing there might be traffic or something so if your core belief is the world is safe and the people are considerate so your alignment will be also like that and you will feel and you will perceive the situation and things like that and these kind of people also trying to safeguard themselves now if they let their guard down so that that can really really uh maybe they are getting hurt or if if they are going to take any risk uh, so they might fail or uh, people can laugh at them so now 
uh, they try to avoid all kind of risk. So rather than taking those kind of risk where they are not familiar, they will be in their comfort zone. They will be always safe. So this kind of thing happened. And this is the only one belief the world is scary. So now uh, we can go to another example regarding belief. Uh, like here are three, four examples. So one is uh, there are so many negative belief and so, so many negative programming we picked from people, we picked from media or we picked from our uh, friends or so many places, right? So let's say uh, somebody is holding belief that they are not likable or they are not lovable and their friend is not responding to their phone call, right? And uh, at that point of time, they will not see this person might be in office, this person might be in... Uh, some of the place, he might get stuck with some work, they might feel that why they are not responding to my call? Because they don't love me or I am not likable. That's why they are not responding to my call. And uh, again, uh, something wrong with them or why they haven't responded? Because now another kind of scenario where we are expecting a meeting or something and we have done so much for that person. But now we can have this kind of thinking that people are selfish. Uh, now, they only call, call me or they only respond to me. They only meet me when they have some work. So this kind of uh, setting uh, also really, really generate different kind of feelings, different kind of emotions. Yeah. So we have different kind of belief system, different kind of cultural beliefs, and we have so many beliefs. Here are some examples. Few people feel helpless. Few people feel uh, uh, unlovable. Few people feel worthless. And it's not the truth. I mean, uh, there are some beliefs about you, maybe that I'm a failure, or there is something wrong with me, or I'm not good enough. And at times, people have this kind of belief that nobody loves me. Uh, I'm not good. Maybe I am bound to be rejected. People are going to leave me alone. Or worthless kind of belief is that I'm unacceptable. I'm worthless. I And at times when these kind of people are in depression, so they say that I don't deserve to live. Right? So there, there can be many beliefs which can be negative, which can be all kind of belief. We can pick from society, we can pick from different places. And this is happening when we were young. Maybe some belief we pick out of some situation when we are like 5, 10 years old, when we are 12 years old, 15 years and 25 years old. But they are still running our life. At times people grow like 80 years old, 60 years old, and they're still holding those kind of belief system and still living in the same world, creating the same kind of situation, same kind of atmosphere again and again. So it's very, very important to know, to really, really understand yourself, your belief system. And the belief is not only a simple thing. It is also like your, what's your value? what kind of core values you have. If you are doing something, if something is happening against those core values, then also you will feel threatened or uh, you will not feel okay with that, right? So, I mean, there are a lot of work that needs to be done on subconscious level, on uh, our uh, goals and why we are not able to get those kind of results in spite of putting a lot of hard work. So it will impact your health, it will impact your relationship, it will impact your uh, career also, and your fulfillment and satisfaction. So uh, there is a lot of things uh, about belief, and this is a huge topic, but uh, looking at the time, because we have very limited time, so I'm wrapping it up. And uh, yeah, Yashpalji is saying, don't people have an ego? Uh, they say that I want it to be right. Yes, sir, you are absolutely right. Uh, we all have ego, right? Some people are holding something due to super ego. They, they have some philosophy about this world that the person should be like this, the male should be like, the female should be like this. 
and uh, at times we are having this ego that i need to be perfect but where this is coming from is this coming from a conditioning which you are not even aware of right so we nobody sitting here is like egoless but at times uh, the intensity of ego is very high yeah that's a totally different scenario where we are holding something and doing something out of ego that i always need to be right but if you go beneath of any belief system like i'm giving you example if uh, somebody has faced physical abuse maybe a female child she has gone through some bad experience right so she will like shut because she can't share with at times she is going to share with parents or siblings so they also ask them to keep quiet and now she is so vulnerable she is not even able to speak up because she was so suppressed since childhood and she has that kind of fear and that will be going to impact the relationship at times people uh, or the kids who are not being understood by their parents whose parents not given them attention how they grow so they they become a very good speaker they became a, a world a kind of leader but what belief inside that they holding that i was not able to uh, convey or my parents never understood me so now i i want to convey my feelings i want to really really communicate to the entire world so we don't know that uh, what kind of pattern you are picking so we need to dig down to that and if there is something which is holding us to really live a joyful peaceful life and to really really uh, uh, be in uh, harmony and be in balance so we need to really really work on that so at times uh, we just superficially putting so much of effort superficially we see that we are okay and we are doing right but at times uh, one of the belief is holding so many emotion at times people who have this thing ki uh, if i choose something they they never get the liberty of choosing anything so they always uh, delay their decision making they always delay their uh, anything right they procrastinate so they might have some fear inside or whenever the decision they make uh, they might fail in few decisions so we need to see that where it's coming from with situation or maybe it's coming from your childhood any kind of experience so few of the belief really really help you to grow to move ahead in life but there might be so many things subconsciously which we are not even aware which we never introspected so uh i welcome all of you to dig down uh if anything is blocking you so we have a course also regarding this and uh, this is going to start on first may uh so you Just, can i'd appreciate if you could share the details uh, on the chat box or you can share it with shabana and we'll share it uh, with the uh, with the entire set of participants there are a few questions but we don't yeah. have much time thank you for sharing what you shared with us and uh, can i request you please to share a reply uh, on the chat box itself to the participants while i invite the next speaker because we are really getting late yeah yeah thank you thank you so much thanks maven thank for you. thank you thank you so much pooja thank you so much thank okay. you for understanding yeah so my dear friends up next we have a very beautiful speaker again she is um she is sarina and she is going to talk uh, talk to us about looking good is about self respect so, please welcome she's a certified lifestyle coach sarina bhardwaj May I have you here with us? Yes. One second. Hi, Sarina. So, uh, my dear, she is a personal identity coach, helping women inside out and outside in, and she is an image coach turned life coach, and a very dear friend of mine. We've been uh, in uh, in coaching together from the same mentor. So, welcome, 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 Sarina. Very warm welcome. am i audible are you there thank you so much yes actually my internet is just glitching so i'm just wondering if it's only on my side or it's at your end so i'm just wondering you can hear me and you can see me yeah, yeah i can hear you and see yeah 
all right great okay before i start thank you so much everyone welcome i actually want as many participants who can actually just switch on the camera for one minute you know what i want to do i really want everyone to just just for a minute can you hear it lifestyle coach guys lifestyle coach come on open up open up open up yeah come on everybody come on it's 10 pm on thursday sonalika sanju shivani sushila ji aman leela ji deepak sarita ji bhupal thank Bhupan. you come on harsha yeah yes sarina please go ahead You are not audible, my dear. Sarina, you are not audible. You are not. I am not audible. You can't hear no, me. No, 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 no. Now I can't. You now can't I... hear the music. I was the only one dancing on no music. Yeah, for no music. I was wondering. <laughs> I have been dancing on on music at my end. You guys could hear it. Man, that is bad. That's all. We are watching a soundless sound. dance, and it's all right. Soundless dance. Thoroughly. <laughs> did you did you guys wake up did you guys enjoy it did you guys love it because you know what i want to do for one minute i just want to thank all speakers so i want everyone to just put your hands together for all the speakers that you've had for one entire week a big round of applause to maven second i want you guys to put your hands for yourself we've had 30 participants today we've had 45 for one entire week a big round of applause to everyone everyone i'm sorry I don't know why this, this dance didn't work, but so, anyway, I'm happy that I entertained you all because it's 10 p.m. on a Thursday. So I have exactly 20 minutes. I have too much to cover. I'm going to quickly go into my presentation. A couple of things. I'm just recovering from cold. Please excuse me if I start coughing in between. Second, I have a lot of questions. Fastest finger first. Keep tagging me and keep responding to the chat box. I really want each and every one of you to participate. and this is my session for all of you can you all see my screen can you all see me all right looking good is all about self respect now let's begin let's begin with what the question is what is today's objective we are going to quickly understand what is important of self respect we are going to quickly understand and start thinking about ourselves and we want to begin to feel confident start doing small actions every day but let me tell you first impressions are important how many of you believe this there are actually 3 to 5 second judgments people make how many of you know this there are 3 to 5 polarized shots people make of you they are not limited to formal situations people forget they only dress up when it's a formal event trust me you are being judged every single moment that is what first impression is first impression is a brief synopsis of you who you are they decide people decide if they want to invest in you you're like a book you're either a comedy you're either a fantasy you're either a thriller they decide if they want to invest first impression is all about 55 visual 38% body language 7% verbal by the time you speak 93% are, is already judged by someone already judged but let me ask you first impressions and self image do you believe who you are on the inside is reflected on the outside everyone in the chat box right now yes no what do you believe do you believe who you are on the inside is reflected on the outside because first impressions what is a first impression you know what you see in the first impression you see someone's thoughts as a first impression you see someone's values as a first impression with someone's financial income as a first impression you see the person's belief as a first impression you see someone's attitude as a first impression you see someone's mindset as a first impression you see someone's behavior as a first impression did you know this the reason why i'm asking is because all of this 
is unconsciously non verbal communication that is happening at the 93% that is being communicated to other people where you have absolutely no idea this is not verbal you are not talking about your beliefs you are not talking about your values people are judging you on your non first impression is shown to other people your standards is what is your first impression so many things is non verbal communication the judgments the impressions you have and i'll tell you the judgments you make of other people that is part of your first impression if you are rude to other people that is part of your first impression right but let me ask you this if this is you tell me in the chat box how many of you want more respect chat a uh, type out me okay how many of you want more respect how many of you want clarity how many of you want more confidence how many of you want more self love how many of you want more courage courage how many of you want recognition from peers and family everything if you want everything just write all six right me with all m's m and e and everything all of it right who doesn't want it everyone wants it lekin sabse badi problem what is holding us back what is holding us back what are we looking at we are looking at what's on the inside what's holding us back our resistance is holding us back right our fear is holding us back our doubt and anxiety is holding us back how many of you have this if you have any of these in, on the inside i'm going to ask you right in the end okay keep keep a note of this if you have fear at the back of your head if you have fear inside of you if you have resistance if you have doubt and anxiety if you have this perfectionism syndrome right if you have confusion in your mind if you do not have the ability to say no if you do not know how to set healthy boundaries if you are constantly doing things with guilt and shame if you are bitter and resentful chup reh ke resentful dur dur se if that's who you are on the inside if you are someone who is needy for validation needy for external love needy for other people to tell you who you are how great you are what your worth is and if you're someone who's jealous tell me what is going to show on the outside tell me if you have even one trait what's going to come on the outside what's going to come on the outside fast is going to first tell me you can have one you can have all we're all guilty of something or the other trust me we're all human i'm also human i've been learning we're all a work in progress right but if those things are inside you that's going to show on the outside and you know what unfortunately that's going to be your non verbal cue when you want respect and you wouldn't know why your first impression is going bad you would have absolutely no idea but let me tell you this global fact this is the report this is a report which actually states that two out of three people in the population of the world suffer from low self image now let me tell you this if you sit in a room and you look to your left and you look to your right two out of the three of you have low self esteem have low self image have low confidence pandemic and covid is not the only thing that is driving us this epidemic has been in this on this planet earth throughout this humanity throughout our human race for years on end a lot of us do not have confidence and this is a global report two out of three so two out of three two thirds of the population has bad 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 low and really really low self esteem self confidence but your strengths and weaknesses this is where it starts from the strengths and weaknesses that you learn as children are internalized and affect how you act as adults today we had fantastic puja trying to tell us what happened as you know in our childhood all the speakers have spoken to you about your past have spoken to you about your internal struggles this is exactly the same way 
I'm just putting it together in a nice little package because I come from the image industry. I come from the styling industry. So I'm going to tell you that all of that matters. All of that matters. You don't need to be the highest, you know, the most amazing model. But let me tell you this. You are still expressing yourself in your first impression, which is somehow going wrong because your internal dialogue is wrong. So this is what affects your self-esteem. There were magazines, I remember, when I was studying image consulting, which got banned because of the understanding of body image. It got banned because of the image of women. It got banned because of the stereotyping. They make an effect. All of that make an effect on you as how you perceive yourself. How you are, if you're married, you're perceived. Society perceives you, family perceives you, bosses perceive you, peers perceive you, everyone perceives you. Every single phase of your life, you are judged. Every single phase of your life, you are seen and you are opinionated on. You're taken someone and put them in slots. Who are you better at compared to? It's always there. And eventually, what happens? As a fact, on an average human, the mind has 60,000 thoughts in a day. How many are repetitive? 80% are negative from the 90-95% thoughts we get. 80% are negative. All of us, for the entire one week, with multiple trainers, have been working on our internal dialogues, have been working on fixing our inside. But let me tell you this, looking good isn't necessarily vanity. Anybody feels that is very vain, looking good is very vain. Anybody else, has, anybody has an issue about looking good? You see, you will be judging me as well. I'm a trainer. You will be judging yourself. You will be judging other participants. Everyone is judging each other. It's not necessarily about vanity. Some women admit to a fear of fashion. They don't want it. Others allow themselves to ignore it. And some don't care. They just won't admit the ways. It's like superficial, perfectly fine. They can, you know what? The problem with all of us is it's a negative bias. What is a negative bias? We hear something negative about ourselves. It sticks to us like Velcro. How many of us know Velcro? Shiba jata bilkul. Fiber to fiber. Single, single strand gets stuck. It gets stuck. And if you have a fresh Velcro tape, when someone, when someone gives you a very negative comment or somebody gives you a very negative compliment or something that was a negative opinion about you, it will be new. It will be like a brand new, fresh Velcro tape. A single heart se nahi khulta. It needs dono heart ka jaan. It stays. But what happens when we get positive responses? Teflon. It's like a non-stick pen. It comes off, drips off, saaf sutra vapis. Don't remember it. Spotless. That's how our mind works. The negative bias works like that. So when you create a negative bias about yourself, it stays on in your mind as a Velcro. You get positive response, it slips off. It's like a slide. They show in commercials, no? Ads with it hanging. Bilkul spotless dekhiye, chamakta hua, pan. Bilkul. That's exactly what it is. We don't touch the Teflon surface. We only go back to that Velcro tape and keep taking care of that. So let me tell you the good thing about the first impression. If you happen to make a fantastic first impression, let me tell you, you actually confirm someone's first impression. For example, if I like someone from a far away, maybe in a wedding, maybe an event, maybe anywhere that I like, my first impression when I meet them is actually great. So in my mind, I've already decided that I have confirmed that that person's first impression is good and I would like to continue to know them. The second is a self-fulfilling prophecy. When you form a positive first impression, you immediately predict that you're going to have a very healthy relationship. It could be for that particular meeting. It could be for that particular occasion. It could be lifelong. It could be anything. You know what's the good thing? You start mirroring each other. So if you like someone who has a fantastic first impression, you start mirroring their expression. You start mirroring 
the way they're talking, you start mirroring their accent. It could be anything. And you know what? You start recognizing that, you know what? If they made an effort to be nice here, they will be nice in all areas of their life. So you start taking them in consideration to everything in their life. So you think that if they're nice here, they're nice everywhere else. If they're kind here, they're kind everywhere in their life. They reflect that. Because you know what? There is no such thing as neutral clothing. There is a science of signs, signs of signs that says semiotics. What is semiotics? It is the clothing. It is what we wear as an appearance, which create that first impression. And in that creation of first impression, we create these certain clothing, which communicate a message. In my clothing, you it will communicate if I'm wearing casual clothing or if I'm wearing formal clothing, right? It's all about understanding the science. Science, Science of science. So there is no neutral clothing. So what are values for first impression? I will tell you from a stylist perspective. The first value that someone has in their wardrobe when they want to buy is economic. You might be someone who is economic. What is economic? Economic is someone something that, that you wear uh, quality clothes, but you buy them on sale, right? When you have a first impression, the first thing I can see is your economic value. When I told you your first impression, your financial income, I can notice this is what I can understand. What are you? You're wearing polyblend fabrics. You're picking up quality stuff on sale, right? You're not looking for high-end brands. You're looking for something that is durable. But when I see your first impression and I see something religious, that means I'm seeing something that is covered. You, you have very little skin show. All these are signs of signs that I'm telling you. I have very limited time. I'm just going to squeeze in as much as possible. Please bear with me. Religious clothing is when you are always covered, full sleeves, completely covered in your legs. You'll wear comfortable clothing. You won't wear anything body hugging, right? You won't wear low necklines, nothing like that. But if you're someone who has an aesthetic sense of a first impression, that means you create different forms of the elements of design. That means you'll have different textures of lines. You'll have, these are all designer brands you will understand in the aesthetic perspective. For example, if I look at a fabric and I look at the aesthetics, I know because they have created that brand. Their aesthetics is more into gold. Their aesthetics are more into silver. Their aesthetics are more into hat ka kam. That becomes specific then you have extrapolatory that means extrapolatory means you add your own personal touch handcrafted things handmade fabrics extrapolation is you get your own style you make your own style this is where creative people go nuts extrapolation is that but if i'm someone who's constantly being politically sorry socially correct this is the social bit but I'm being socially correct, where I wear all nice things compared to the social occasion. What is the social occasion? Wedding hair to sari hi hai. You're not going to experiment. You're going to conform to standards that is known by society so that you get accepted by society. You're not a creative person. If everyone wears a sari, you'll wear a sari. If everyone wears a suit, you'll wear a suit. If everyone wears a badgala, you'll wear a badgala. Social wearing and social first impressions are that you're trying to merge with society. Political, on the other hand, wants you to be in a state of power. So you wear designer labels. So political branding and first impressions is that you wear something that is specific to impressing people. So you will notice after Indira Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi started wearing the same kind of khadi, khadi sadis, same kind of cotton sadis made by the villagers. Why? Because she needed to appeal to the masses. Then you have sensory. Sensory is for all people who only want to wear cotton. I don't want to wear anything that irritates my skin. I don't want to wear poly blends. It doesn't suit me. I don't like it. Messer of cotton pens up. That is sensory to touch. So you feel it on your body. Very specific. So first impression, sensory. Theoretical is that they are so particular. If it's leather, it has to be pure leather. If it's fur, it has to be pure fur. It has to be so dramatic. Theoretical is dramatic clothing. So these are the values that you see in someone's first impression. 
these I know are new for a lot of people who are here. All 33 of you might find this completely new, maybe slightly confused. I'm really sorry for the lack of time, but I want you to just recognize that first impressions are very important. And these are a few tips that I can tell you. You want to look credible. You want self-respect. I would choose and urge you to look at straight lines over curved lines. Look at angular shapes of garments over round shapes of garments. Work with deep colors rather than bright colors. Work with smooth textures over rough textures. Work with classic patterns of your stripes over trendy patterns. All these will work in your favor when you put together a garment, which is straight lines, angular shapes, deep colors, smooth textures, and classic patterns. You will get the respect that you want. Because you know what? It is not a matter of vanity. Dressing up and putting all the energy and all the money to looking good, to putting yourself together, to create that impact is a sense of self-worth. And it is very important for all of you to know that it is a lifestyle. It is not about the ego. It's not about the money. It's about you. And if you know who you are on the inside, what kind of impact you want to make, let me tell you, in today's day and age, your wardrobe needs to work as hard as your skills and your knowledge. How many of you agree with me? This is very important. So I want you to ask yourself these three questions before I wrap up. Do you feel you will be able to achieve this level of self-respect from your outer appearance after this short session? Do you feel you can understand the actions or the habits that you need to change or implement inside of you? Do you feel that there is any mindset or attitude shift from this session, which is a game changer for you? Because I want to give you all a gift, all of you, all of you, all the people who have been here only for this specific Maven Spiritual Week Festival. I want to give you five lucky people. I want to give this to. I want to give a personal 30 minute session, which is my personal 30 minute session. It is worth 999. I'm giving this absolutely free to five people. This is only valid for this Maven Spiritual Festival Week audience. Absolutely. This is where I say thank you. This is where I say, please get in touch with me. This is where I'm open to all questions. And I'm sorry, Ritu, if I've gone a minute over. I didn't want to take so long, but I hope that I can. Absolutely. I hope that I can have a lovely session, Sarina. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with everybody. And it's been a very uh, you know, interactive session, although you did not really say anything, but it began with a very powerful uh, opening. So thank you so much for bringing uh, so much of enthusiasm and dynamism. We'll be sharing the links uh, uh, within a few minutes. Of course, uh, we'll get to choose who are the five lucky people. So we'll take some time. Uh, it's maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow morning, we'll select and choose people and we'll send the links exclusively. Is that all right? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So my dear friends, how was the session? What did you pick up? Just put it out in the uh, chat box while I invite the last speaker for the evening. And then we have a little bit of activity towards the end. We would like to hear from you as well. So um, I'd like to now invite Dr. Nupur Shivastava. She has about 24 years of spiritual and healing experience. She's working on... Uh, various modalities. She's a psychologist, hyp uh, hypnotherapist, and a life coach, all rolled into one. And uh, without further ado, I'd now like to hand over the session over to you. Nupurji, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for uh, calling me and inviting me on this uh, spiritual platform. And uh, before uh, going to uh, meditation session because I was uh, more uh, um, 
all for uh, giving a meditation session but before that i would like to say a few things about my session the topic on which we are going to do this guided meditation so this guided meditation with high vibrational frequency levels to transcend to super conscious levels which through which you can work on all aspect of your life okay now what is super conscious level first you have to understand there are three levels mota mota um that consciousness subconscious conscious and super conscious conscious is where we do the work subconscious is where we do the work and remember it okay it is below the level of conscious awareness it is physical seat in the body and is the lower brain and the spine it records everything we do and every activity we engage in our thoughts and uh, all those activity and we are we never forget all those things now what is super conscious level this is one level which is above all the levels and this is where you are fully calm you are in trance you are beginning to reach to the highest level you are connecting to the higher beings like what dr larry has said there are various conscious levels so we are going to touch those uh, level that super conscious level when we go deeper into the meditation and this level is active when a person is in trance and also they are active when the person is in coma state okay it is always said that when they are in hospital and they are in coma state you go and speak to them and they will 100% listen to you and come back so i would like to say that we will go to this meditation session okay so all are ready please say yes yes everyone is ready so relax yourself i'm also relaxing myself relax yourself close your eyes be comfortable sit or lie down in a particular uh, situation or position wherever you are just be comfortable and relax breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out relax your toe and relax your legs lower body totally relax ab aap jahan pe bhi baithe hain wahan pe baith jaye aaram se ya lete jaye बिल्कुल आराम से गहरी सांसें लें सांस अंदर और बाहर करें बिल्कुल अपने बॉडी को ढीला छोड़ दें रिलैक्स योर स्टमक एंड योर चेस्ट शोल्डर डाउन रिलैक्स क्लोज योर आईज योर थ्रोट मसल्स आर रिलैक्स योर फेस टोटली रिलैक्स योर जॉस totally relax let it go down loose relax ab apne pet ko aur sine ko puri tarah se dheela chhod de relax na apne gardan ki aur chehre ki sari muscles ko relax kar de aapke jaws puri tarah se relax hain aapki aankhein band hain पूरी तरह से बंद है जब तक मैं ना कहूं तब तक आप उसको बंद ही रखेंगे कीप योर आईज क्लोज टिल आई से ओपन योर आईज आई दैट कीप योर आईज शट क्लोज अब आपका पूरा से पूरी तरह से रिलैक्स यू आर कंप्लीटली रिलैक्स योर बॉडी इज टोटली रिलैक्स Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now you are going to access higher conscious level, which is very higher conscious level, super conscious level, source itself, God, light, 
अब आप अपने सुपर कॉन्शियस लेवल को महसूस करने जा रहे हैं जहाँ से हमें शक्ति मिलती है भगवान की अनुभूति होती है आप इस मेडिटेशन को कभी भी कर सकते हैं यू कैन डू दिस मेडिटेशन एनी टाइम वेन यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेप्ट सुपर कॉन्शियसनेस जब भी आप इसको करेंगे आपको सुपर कॉन्शियसनेस का एहसास होगा अनुभूति होगी Relax yourself. Go deeper and deeper into your superconscious level. Slowly and slowly, go down, deep down. Dire dire, aur pe gehrai me chalte jaaye. Apne aap ko puri tarah se relax kare aur apne antar ko mehsoos kare. मुझ पे विश्वास रखें ट्रस्ट मी एंड ट्रस्ट योर सेल्फ अपने पे विश्वास रखें आप उस लेवल तक पहुंच पाएंगे यू विल रीच टू दैट सुपर कॉन्शियस लेवल ब्रीद इन एंड ब्रीद आउट विद ईच ब्रेथ यू आर गोइंग डीपर एंड डीपर एंड टू योर सबकॉन्शियस लेवल देन टू योर सुपर कॉन्शियस लेवल रिलैक्स योर माइंड टोटली एंड कंप्लीटली पूरी तरह से अपने मन को रिलैक्स करें यदि आपके थॉट्स कहीं इधर उधर जा रहे हैं उनको वापस फ्यूचर में लाएं यहाँ पे लाएं। इफ योर थॉट्स आर गोइंग बैक इन टू योर पार ब्रिंग इट बैक इन टू योर फ्यूचर धीरे धीरे और गहरी सांस लें कीप ब्रीदिंग डीपली एंड स्लोली Inhale and exhale. Now, all the energy is settled. Your thoughts are settled. आपकी शक्ति बैलेंस हो गई है, सेटल हो गई है. आपके thoughts सेटल हो गए हैं, सोच सेटल हो गई है. आज बहुत तेज हवा चल रही है और एकदम से शांत हो गई है आपका मन पूरी तरह से शांत है एज एफ विंड वॉज ब्लोइंग एंड ऑल द डस्ट इज सेटल वंस द विंड इज स्टॉप ब्लोइंग रिलैक्स योर सेल्फ एंड योर माइंड इज टोटली काम Your thoughts are traveling, leaving behind space. Space is there in your mind. That spaciousness, that emptiness, is filling your mind. आपका मन शांत है और खाली है. वो खालीपन आपके mind को भर रहा है. खाली, बिल्कुल खाली, बिल्कुल शांत. आप इनहेल कर रहे हैं क्वाइटनेस को एक्सेल कर रहे हैं नॉइस को यू आर एक्सेलिंग नॉइस यू आर इनहेलिंग क्वाइट ऑल द नॉइस इज ब्लोइंग अवे फ्लोइंग अवे यू आर फुल ऑफ पीसफुलनेस Peace in your mind. Now you feel 
you are floating away amongst the clouds. You are totally relaxed and light. Aap ab apne aap ko cloud ki tarah behte hue dekhe apne aap ko. Bilkul halka, very light, like a cloud. Now, remember yourself how you want to be, simply be. Aap apne aap ko kaisa mehsus karna chaate hai? Bilkul halka, sadhara. Breathe in and breathe out. And you see a ray of light in between those clouds. Ab aap ek Roshni dekhe, divya prakash dekhe, us baadno ke beech me se, us divya prakash ko, apne man ki aankho me dekhe, aapko ho prakash, bada hota hua dekhe ka, ho prakash, divya hai, bhagwan ki shakti hai, you see that divine light, which is coming from, the divine being up there from between the clouds. You are feeling one with the divine. Inhale and exhale very slowly. You are feeling lighter and lighter. Feel this moment. This moment is nothing. Yes, shana, kuch bhi nahi hai, nothing. Now you can create each and every moment that you want it to happen. Aap jis cheez ko, jis moment ko, jis ghatna ko, क्रिएट करना चाहते हैं आप उसको क्रिएट करें आप अपने आप को अच्छा महसूस करें और जो आपके दिल में इच्छा है उसको आप महसूस करें और उसको क्रिएट करें मैनिफेस्ट करें मैनिफेस्ट व्हाट यू वांट फ्रॉम दिस सिचुएशन फ्रॉम दिस डिवाइन लाइफ फ्रॉम दिस कॉन्शियसनेस सुपर कॉन्शियसनेस you can create miracle and you can create what you want exactly. You have the freedom to create for yourself what you want. You are feeling stronger and stronger. You are shifting your consciousness to super consciousness and you can manifest what you really want to create. Ab aap apna energy level, conscious level, shift kar rahe hain, super consciousness ki taraf, jahaan aap, jo chahate hain, usse aap create kar sakte hain, bana sakte hain, aur us ichcha ko poorn kar sakte hain. You are at peace, you can do or create what you want at the superconscious level. Make a wish and it will be done. Now, in this time, whatever you wish, it will be done. Just do it. Wish it. Your wish will be done. Do it. And it will be done. And it will be done. And it will be done. You see it happen in your mind at super conscious level where you are connected to higher being or is ko hote ve dekhe jaha aap un divya shaktiyo se jude ve hai you are surrounded by light divine light ava aap दिव्य प्रकाश से घिरे हुए हैं इस दिव्य प्रकाश को अपने चारों ओर महसूस करें 
See yourself encircled with this divine light. Now your desire is complete. Your wish has been realized and fulfilled. Now, slowly and slowly, inhale and exhale. Dheere dheere, saas andar le aur bahar kare. Inhale and exhale. Very slowly and slowly. Feel your body, your toes, your feet and shake a little bit, slowly and slowly. Come to your conscious state of mind. Feel yourself physically sitting or lying and slowly open your eyes. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Now you are slowly अपने शरीर को जागृत करें और अपनी आंखें धीरे-धीरे खोलें। One, two, three। अब आप अपनी आंखें खोल सकते हैं। ईश्वर को, higher beings को धन्यवाद दें। Thank higher beings and God for this realization and connecting to super conscious level. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Oji, thank you so much for such a wonderful meditation. I hope I'm on time. Absolutely, absolutely. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will share your website for everybody to get in touch with you. And, uh, Anyone who wants to ask any question or want to share their experiences, they are most welcome to share. And if anyone had any problems while doing this meditation, they can come to me and contact me in person. On uh, They can have the number from Chabana and Ritu. And uh, anything anyone want to share, you can share. Very calming. <laughs> it was very relaxing. Thank you. <laughs> Ritu, can you feel the light? In yes. You? Yes, yes, Nupurji. It's a very good experience. And Dada? Yes. Could you feel the light? Ah. I can't. Yes. Ah. I'm so glad. Shabana, he's my cousin. Okay. <laughs> I did not know. Welcome. You were so excited to attend my session. And yes. uh, <laughs> that totally, totally get and thank you. It was it has been such a beautiful, you know, ending to the festival. Like all wishes <laughs> are fulfilled for all the people being here. Yes. yes. And whoever has missed it or uh, they want to read uh, connect through this uh, meditation to the superconscious level they will be able to connect to superconscious level through this meditation if they want any personal session of course uh, they can connect to me thank you thank you thank you so much dr nupur thank, thank you. you so much my dear friends thank you so much it's been a wonderful experience i'd request a few of you to come and share your experiences um very quickly so and we have a list of speakers uh who would we we would like to acknowledge at the end so may i request the participants um to come and share who would like to share just raise your hand so i'll pick you up and i'll spotlight you ruchi yes please you i'm asking you to unmute kindly uh start your video as well we'd like to see you all right all right Thank you, Mabel. Thank you, Shabana. Can you just put your put the camera on focus for yourself? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a wonderful 
uh, a journey, five weeks, and we all are not the same person as we started. You know, that, that, that whole aura of transformation is so palpable, the calmness. And uh, I really would say that both of you, like, you know, you did a fantastic job of anchoring the whole show so beautifully. You know, now we can't even imagine a spiritual festival without you. It's like that, you know, your name has become synonymous with that. And uh, Shabana, you will get so much of good karmas for creating such magic, such a difference in everybody's life. Thank you and keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Ruchi. Thank you for wonderful sharing. Thank you so much for inspiring us and encouraging us. Uh, yes, Sonali Sonalika. Uh, yes, hi. Please. Hi. I'm, yes, yes. I just want to thank everyone here. I'm so, so much, uh, what will I say, uh, enriched. I will say enriched. I cannot say in words, actually. Everything here I experience, I cannot speak in words. Uh, so I, I just felt it. Maybe in a uh, few future days, I, I will be able to understand everything. Maybe not everything, no, not possible. But uh, uh, thank you, Mavin, for this festival, for this opportunity, for this platform, especially Retuji, Shabanajin, all the excellent speakers. Love this, love this. I'm very grateful to you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, Nalikaji. And you've been a wonderful participant. You were there each and every single day. So thank you. Thank you so much for your commitment. Love your commitment. Yes. Thank you. We see a lot of messages in the chat box. Thank you so much. Uh, who would like to share next? Yashpalji? Jayalakshmi ji? Yes, Jayalakshmi ji. Okay. I'd, I'd put you one after the other. Who would like to come first? Choose. <laughs> I, wish, I wish we had more time. Yes. Uh, can we can we by everybody's uh, uh, agreement can we can we extend it by five minutes 11 05 is that okay yeah yeah fine absolutely okay. fine. thank you thank you yes yes Panji, please go ahead you see all these sessions were very good and uh, i feel rejuvenated and uh, as i said i wish uh, it had been a little longer <laughs> <laughs> God. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll, more. Thank you. Thank you. we'll, we'll definitely create one more event quickly uh, as fast as we can. Yeah. Of course, uh, we'll gather the best of the speakers that we can bring on. Yeah. So definitely we'll keep that in mind. Thank you for being a wonderful participant, Yashpalji. Barring you. one or two days, I think you were there on all the days. I know. That was, yes? yeah. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Love your commitment. Thank you. Thank you for being there. Okay. Yes, Jalakshmi ji. बहुत मजा आ गया बहुत ज्यादा मजा आ गया ये एक दिन मैंने मिस किया था संडे को जी और उस दिन हमारे संस्था की 25वीं सेलिब्रेशन थी बर्थडे की एंड सो इट वाज अ डायलेमा टू कनेक्ट बैक विद द पास्ट और लुक अराउंड फॉर द फ्यूचर एंड लुक इनवर्ड तो फिर मैंने आपसे रिक्वेस्ट किया था कि मुझे रिकॉर्डिंग भेज दें so next day I spent the whole day looking at the recordings and absorbing, but nothing like being live in the Zoom room when uh, when the you know energy can be felt by the participants. So and I also mentioned ki festival jo hai na ek saal mein ek baar nahi hona chahiye kam se kam do baar hona chahiye. So ye mera uh, chota sa suggestion hai ki agar possible. Noted. 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 I agree. Noted. I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so I have been so blessed to have such wonderful speakers and wonderful, you know, new learnings every day, every day, and looking forward to uh, these sessions. So it has been a magical experience. Thanks to Ritu and also to Shabana and all the other team members who have come together to make this festival so wonderful. God bless everyone. Thank you, Jai Lakshmi. Thank you so much. My dear friends, uh, thank you. Those of you who are writing in the chat box, thank you so much. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience to uh, feel this vibe coming from you. I would request each one of you to pen down your practices tonight before you go to bed so that it's alive for you, whatever you have learned, and it stays with you. 
um, we are coming to the close and we have to thank the stars that we have uh, who have made this possible for us in the first place. So one big star is uh, Shavana herself. She would not say a word about herself, but uh, she's been relentlessly working on gathering all the speakers, creating the event, making it possible, uh, following up with me. So, <laughs> so I really thank her. And of course, now I'd like to share, uh, I'd request Shavana to share the screen. We want to thank all the stars of the entire seven days, all our speakers. Okay. Could you please uh, put it up? Yes. yes I thought you would be putting it Okay. Time. Let me, let me, let me. No, it's okay. You are? Okay. Great. And you see that. Yes, perfect. So uh, I'd like to thank each and every speaker here, Sukhdeepak ji, uh, Dr. Larry, um, uh, Bonta Shivo, Anandita Chakravarti ji, Dr. Manisha Jain, Dr. Piyush Bhatia, Jonita. It's 11 uh, o'clock. Dr. Tulika Sanadhya, VP Singh ji, Dr. Nupur Srivastava, Sandeep Kumar ji, Ruchi Bhamri, and uh, Mansi, Neelam ji Bakshi, Vina ji, uh, Pooja, Kar Pooja Agarwal, Pooja Karan, Sarina Bhardwaj, um, Vinita Keshwani ji, Sushila ji, Dr. Ruchika Yadav, uh, Mrs. C.K. Arora, and Leela ji, Leena ji, Leena ji Nigam. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being there with us and contributing immensely to the lives of all the participants and heeding to our request and being there every time. And I, I request each and every participant to bow down to the speakers, to the energy of the speakers, to the guru in them. And it's been a wonderful uh, week. I hope everybody takes away home and starts practicing in their life. And if there was any, any kind of mistake from our side on a karmic level, I just request everyone to just pardon us, forgive us for anything we might have said especially me while I was coordinating. So I request all the speakers to pardon me for any uh, ups and downs that I may have caused, any upsets that I may have caused. And you thank you so amazing. much. Thank you. And would like to hear yes, from Shabana. Really yes, I'd like to hear from Shabana as well. <laughs> now I, it's the I'm time. <laughs> I, yes. I just want to thank everyone. Like it has been like, I'm really happy and glad that, you know, uh, everyone got value out of this festival and that was the intention of organizing the entire program and after your feedback i'm so inspired and looking forward to create another one of course hopefully in some time but then yeah excited and looking forward and thank you so much for joining and yes. and you know bestowing your trust in us and continuing for the entire week initially i was actually doubtful if we can stretch up to one week because the first time we were experimenting it and like uh, so spiritual festival has been extended from two days to one week and i think it was fabulous i think all of us could enjoy it so, wonderful yeah. savana ji ritu ji ruchi sonalika all the speakers wonderful experience this time savana ji aur wo aapki choti si gutki kahan gayi elisha ho को भी बहुत धन्यवाद देना चाहिए बहुत पकड़ पकड़ के सबको जो है लेके आती है वो ओके थैंक यू ऑल द टीम मेंबर्स इवन आई वुड लाइक टू सेव अ फ्यू थिंग्स यस आई वुड अप्रिशिएट आलिशा रियली शी विल रिक्वेस्ट ओ मैम प्लीज 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 मैम कम एंड टेक सेशन टुमारो प्लीज मैम प्लीज मैम एंड आई एम लाइक ओके आई विल टेक आलिशा डोंट वरी आई विल कम शी इज सच अ स्वीट गर्ल एंड रियली आई अप्रिशिएट एंड आई अप्रिशिएट होल मार्विन टीम विद बॉटम ऑफ माय हार्ट दैट दे आर क्रिएटिंग सच अ ब्यूटीफुल एनवायरमेंट आउट हियर इन दिस डिफिकल्ट वर्ल्ड एंड सो इट्स सो डिफिकल्ट to go on with life and some beautiful small little things small effort can bring relief to so many people i'm so glad that you are doing some good work thank you so much thank you thank you dr may i request alisha to show up please i'm i've been trying to unmute you yeah. uh, kindly start your video we'd like to see you and we'd like to thank you and look at you for who you are please come on screen Alicia 
ग्रेशियस to allow us to share their presence 15 minutes 30 minutes with the with the individuals you can go and sign up so the first five or first six will get their fingers on and probably be the ones who can attend those sessions so kindly make the most of it look for the, these links tomorrow uh, we share it with you and make the best out of it that's our request thank you so much on next time se apni puri family ko leke baithe Okay, yes. Bye. Yes, Malika ji, want to say something? Yes. Before we close, I just want to thank BP Shingji for your excellent uh, session in the morning. Yes. You know, I had to take my son from the school. One day I was late, so half an hour. But I tried to. I, my office was going on. One, uh, one. Sometimes I'm doing my office work in laptop and bring your session. It was so yes. Cool. Yes, it was. It was great contribution from you, VP Singh Ji. In fact, uh, three days of your sessions to all the participants. So thank you, thank you so much for such a lovely, lovely bonus. And uh, uh, I would, I have thanked you personally on a WhatsApp video, but then I just want to repeat and reiterate that we all have got a lot of relief from the way you've been, uh, you know, uh, creating these bonus sessions for all of us. Thank you so much for giving for so much of you know gratitude uh, is there for you that. Everybody has certain problems in their postures, and you have actually solved it for a lot of them in these three days. We're so giving. Thank you. Thank you so much once again. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. We're going to end this evening with a music. Um. Uh, just like this. Yes. Sushila ji wants. Okay. Yes, Sushila ji. Please go ahead. Thank you, Ritu. Thank you, Marin Group. Thank you. Thank you, Shabana. Anita. Uh, आज Ritu, आप लोगों को एक clue मिल गया कि अभी इस साल में दो session, एक summer, एक winter. तो <laughs> एक winter festival की planning अभी से करना चालू कर दो. Okay. मदद चाहिए तो हम मदद करने के लिए ready हैं. Yes. <laughs> Ritu, <laughs> तैयारी में कुछ मदद चाहिए. बिल्कुल जी लक्ष्मी जी आपके पास जरूर आएंगे. <laughs> तो विंटर सेशन जो है अक्टूबर नवंबर के आसपास सिंह जी आपको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मेरी कमर का दर्द काफी कुछ खोल दिया आपने क्या बात है क्या बात है <laughs> मेरी वीडियो अभी नहीं आई थी मेरे साथ मेरा इंटरनेट बराबर नहीं चल रहा है सबको तो बहुत धन्यवाद शबाना स्पेशली यू एंड रिशु जी आप तो इतने एनर्जेटिक हैं सबको अपना हंसता हुआ नूरानी चेहरा दिखलाते हैं तो इतना खूबसूरत खूबसूरत रहता है अपना प्रोग्राम थैंक यू थैंक यू नेक्स्ट टाइम लाफिंग योगा हम लोग बहुत बड़े वे में करेंगे मैं उसकी पूरी तैयारी कर कर आऊंगी इस बार खूब हंसेंगे हम खूब हंसेंगे बहुत बढ़िया जी बहुत बढ़िया अरे नेक्स्ट टाइम क्यों मॉर्निंग सेशन में आ जाइए किसी दिन फोर्टी फाइव मिनट में जरूर 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 आपसे मैं पर्सनली कंसल्ट करना चाहूंगी मैं शबाना से नंबर ले लेती हूँ आपका मैं सबका लिंक शेयर करूंगी कल अच्छा अच्छा और शबाना विल बी शेयरिंग द इंटायर लिंक्स ऑल द स्पीकर्स जिन्होंने हमने लिंक शेयर किए हैं एवरीबडी विल गेट ऑल द कनेक्ट and you need to connect with them and hamare uh, be maven team ki taraf se bhi ek feedback form hoga jahan pe aap ek sath jo aapke request kya hai kisko aap sunna chahoge kis pe elaborate session chahoge so that we can plan the sessions ahead in the next uh, few months okay is that okay okay, okay. bye bye thank you so much bye bye have a great great night bye Thank you. Bye, God. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Pranam. Thank you. Thank you. Ram Ram. Gratitude. Thank you. 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 Thank you.